Meet Peter Scott Morgan. And where do you want me? He suffers from motor neurone disease, the incurable illness that killed the scientist Stephen Hawking. But Peter has a plan. There is no technology that I would not consider. He'll save his life by turning himself into the world's first cyborg, part man, part machine. I intend to be a human guinea pig to see just how far we can turn science fiction into reality. For two years, we filmed Peter as he experiments with radical surgery, high-tech engineering, and artificially intelligent computers. He hopes to change the future for disabled people. But if he fails, he dies. Who would have thought that trying to cheat death was a full-time job? One of the big problems when I email people who are locked in, they say of all the faculties that they lost, speech was the worst, yeah. the, the, the most traumatic, the one that made them feel most disabled. It is impossible, even if they use text-to-speech, they aren't communicating their personality, they're not able to communicate emotionally. We're working flat out. Really. Really. Hello, Peter. This is Peter, the first version of your new voice. You know, to be honest, I think, uh, I think we could do better. Intellectually, I understood that people who are disabled can have a rough time just fitting into the environment. So now I'm in a wheelchair. Now I get it, and it's incredibly difficult Very, very good to see you. Even in hospitals uh, where you uh, go in and uh, I'm in a wheelchair, I, I look over this towering reception desk, a lovely face smiles and then looks to Francis and, and just break eye contact. And we can just we can then tilt the chair. And maybe... So this is a very, very important test. Here we go. OK, strange feelings. Take... I am doing nothing. I am absolutely relaxing my muscles, I am completely flopping, and yet I am standing. Good grief. I am unprepared for the emotion of not only uh, being able to look look down on people for heaven's sake, not even just looking in the eye, um, but of being able to relax in a standing position is quite extraordinary. It really is. It's less than a year since Peter's diagnosis. He's beginning his transformation into a cyborg, becoming part human, part machine. There's no time to waste. MND is paralyzing him. In the middle of the night, uh, with my NIV mask on, I got a bit of phlegm uh, somewhere uh, around my throat. My throat shut, and I could not breathe. That sound when somebody can't breathe of... <gasps> It's an awful sound, and yeah, I jumped out of bed and um, ripped his mask off, but nevertheless, it was pretty awful. We don't quite know how to minimise all the risks, but that's OK, because whatever happens, we will learn from it, and we will do it better the next time. So uh, from that point of view, think of it as a science experiment.